Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. So, this is the quince. You may remember it from episode 19. Someday my quince will come. It's brewed for about ooh, four weeks now. Some of it's pinker than the other. Don't know why. It's not going to do any more brewing. Oh, come on, dog. We'll get you your own video episode later. Anyway, so that's just going to go uh, one bucket at a time into the still, but we won't be using marbles this time because they're really difficult to extract from the mess at the bottom of the still afterwards, and I don't want to lose my marbles. All we have to do now is pour it into the still. Stick the lid on, connect it up to the water, and distill it. Just like that. From the same source as the Pinot Grizzly, we also have some Riesling, or Grizzling, similar bad flavour. And what we're going to do now is just strip the alcohol straight out of it. First step, same as uh, all the others, we use the straight Alembic copper top still and run it through once. Got all my marbles, let's get started. Now we'll set up and run again, uh, but this is the stuff that came out at the end of the last distillation I did the week before. Still got some alcohol in it. We'll salvage that. Remember, we're not trying to make anything particularly tasty. We're just trying to get the alcohol out of this. So this is the stuff that comes off first. Probably got methanol in it, not good to drink. Um, so I thought I might try and do something useful with it. What's the most useful thing I can do, dear? Make tea. Make tea. Okay. So I've got here our favourite camping kettle, which I'll put on the fondue burner. And then I'll take the fondue burner, pour in the dodgy alcohol, light it, and see if we can't make a cuppa. I'm a milk first person. Tease up, ladies. Woohoo! Dog, have you been in the flower bin? If I drain out the spent booze in the morning, when it's nice and cold, it really doesn't stink so much. Otherwise, the place smells like a distillery for some reason. Every so often, a marble will fail, and we have to keep replacing them, but they're cheap enough. I measured the distilled Riesling at about 64% um, alcohol by volume. The previous run, Pinot Grizzly, that we did in episode 20, uh, got 74% alcohol by volume. Uh, the Alembic still here can do 85%. But if you run it through again, you only get an extra percent of alcohol. Uh, to get any better than this, you need one of these. This is a rectifying still. 
They're filled with lumps, um, sometimes marbles. This one happens to be filled with bent stainless washers. As the alcoholic steam comes up the bottom here, it condenses on whatever lumps you've got in there and um, it falls back down into the pot. As it goes down, it gets warmed up because these lumps have been heated by the steam coming up and it gets distilled again and the stuff that uh, condenses falls back down into the pot and the lighter alcohol vapour comes back up the top here. Uh, it's distilled hundreds of times as it goes up the column and comes out at around 95% by volume alcohol. It's very finicky though. If your brew is too hot, it'll all come out the top. If your brew is too cold, then everything falls back down into the pot. And as the temperature of the pot varies all the time, depending on the concentration of alcohol in it, you're continuously adjusting and tweaking the water flow into the still. So the stronger you have your brew in the pot when you start with, the less variation in concentration there's going to be, and the less fiddling and mucking about you have to do. Yes, we're in the setting fire to things corner. The old school way of telling whether your alcohol is uh, reasonably pure or not is to put a little bit in a spoon and set fire to it. Everything that isn't alcohol will remain in the spoon. So if it's good brew, the spoon is absolutely dry when you're done. I might speed this bit up a little, but um, have a look. But for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm.